Hello and welcome back guys. This is episode 14 of my Compact Sky Let's Play series on Sky Factory 4. Um, uh, I've run into a bit of a problem. <laughs> I made a copy of my world to test this and I got it to work. Thank God for that. But I'm going to load up this. I just wanted to show you this, that I actually did a copy and obviously I haven't cheated or anything. We're going to go and do this together. I've run into a problem. I'll explain more. Just let it load up. And here we go. We are a ghost. Yes. Cut a long story short, I went to a dimension using one of the cakes. That being this Lost Cities cake. I crafted this little fella because I wanted to try and see if I could get the trial keystone to work in there. And I got stuck in a piece of bedrock, and if you look at my coordinates, I'm at Y256. Yes, I cannot do anything, guys. I'm kind of screwed. Um, so I asked a couple of my Patreons, and they suggested... <laughs> this is so weird, just a piece of armor. They suggest me going on to MC Edit, and I don't know, trying to change the file or something. But obviously, as you can see, all my bits are there. And I can't use this. It won't let me because I'm at the height limit. Look. <laughs> so what I found out is if you go to this open to land, if I make this open to land for myself and put allow cheats on and start as a land world, you will be able to actually start doing uh, commands like we all know. So I'm going to just do game mode free, that being spectator mode, and just kind of like go through these barriers. <laughs> I wanted to do this with you, so you know I'm not, like, cheating or anything, because I don't want to cheat. Oh, no, that's in creative. <laughs> this is so weird for me, because obviously I'm so used to bedrock. Oh, hey! And there we go. We are actually back, and let's get my bits. Oh, finally. This is so dark. Guys, honestly, I was so worried. I was like, this is it. This is the end. I've I broke my world. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. I just made the cake and it set me there. So I think because if I wait for this to load a minute and we'll go through there. If I actually press the escape button and you've got this little what's new thing. If I click on this, it says here somewhere about change the sizes, increase the size of the hunter dimension and the lost cities look with a transparent roof. If you want to use these new sizes, you will have to remove and regenerate these dimensions in your world. That's what's happened. They've changed the sizes of them, I think, for this trial keystone thing. So possibly, because obviously I've been playing this quite a while now, I kind of screwed there, unfortunately. Oh well. Anyway, on today's agenda. I have been doing a bit off cam, but obviously because of that, it's kind of messed up things a bit for me. Um, so as you can see, I've got a load of trees on the go here. And I don't know why they're green and black in the picture, but they're actually not. Um, I've kind of just left this as it goes. This isn't every single sapling I own, as you can tell. There's, what, only 14 there. Um, it's just more of the more valuable resources. So we've got gravel, glowstone, copper, cotton. That just being for string, obviously. Uh, coal, sand, and cobalt. I don't even know what cobalt's really for. I know it's for the tools, but that's pretty much it. Um, we've got bone, we've got lapis, we've got dirt, we've got gold, obviously diamond, and iron, and emerald. Um, so I'm using the filing cabinets, and I've they kind of glitchy. I don't know if this is normal, if it's just this, this 13 by 13 room. I don't know. But basically, I'm just collecting up the acorns, obviously, and the uh, resin, sorry. Which, honestly, I don't really have a lot here because I keep doing this with the iron one. And it's only one sapling. So eventually, what the plan of today is, is to get this prestige thing on the go and try and get myself to the hunting dimension. I can close it up, look. So if I just press Z quickly... I want to go to, no, I need to press P, sorry, don't I? I need to go to this, the Twilight Forest, that's what I want to do. I want to try and get this today. So I need four points, so that would be 40 million uh, RF, right? 
So I'm gonna go to my smeltery quickly, chuck this iron in here, and there is quite a bit in here already. I Like I say, I've been doing a bit off cam, but not a lot because of that problem. It's kind of messed things up for me. So I'm in the room with the deep simulation chamber, and I just wanted to show you, I've actually got six pristine ender dragon matters now, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, I've left this on the go, and yeah, it is actually eventually working, which is pretty good. So... All in all, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to leave that one in because probably, I would say, dragon eggs are probably the best thing for power. Yeah, look. 1,200,000 RF, basically, that will generate. And a wither skull is, in fact, 256. So, yeah. Dragon eggs is the future. So, I'm just going to leave that in anyway. And that is pretty much that. I've gone ahead and made quite a few of these generators. So I've got two here. I've got a spare one just kicking around here. And I need to grab my uh, cables. And we need to make sure we use that for that. There we go. So as you can see, this is pretty much full now. And obviously, this thing isn't actually active yet. So I need to actually grab it. And we're going to have to do a bit of shifting around here. Because I want to attach all of these generators to this. And just get a load of wither skulls on the go. There we go. There is no active... Pro yes, it's okay. Right. Uh, let's think about this here. So if I put this thing here. We're going to chuck that there. That there. That like that. Okay. Now, we got this thing, and obviously there's a cables going in and out. Oh, I need to get the inscriber. Is that what it's called again? In, whoops. Inscribe, no. I thought it was called an inscriber. That thing. No, it's a configurator. Okay. <laughs> Why did I think that was, no, the inscriber is this thing, isn't it? That's right. Oh my god. I'm uh, getting a bit slightly confused here. I'm not really I'm not really too sure. Possibly that's gonna work, but I I don't honestly know right now. Um it it's not connected at all to it, is it? Why is that? It was last time when I did this, it was. I don't know. Right. Well, I'm going to basically turn this thing on now and see what happens, shall we? Uh, it's gaining a lot of power really fast. <laughs> it's possibly too fast for itself. Um, but I'm tempted to nick this thing here because this one is an actual upgraded one. And obviously... It's going to struggle at some point. So, check that one there. And let's switch this one out. Put you there. And we need to put that hopper back. Like so, go. Like that. I don't really need this piece of cobble. So, you can just go in the corner. <laughs> uh, so, that is actually losing power. Um, so, I might have to go make another cable. And this has already gained 10 million in a minute, which is brilliant. So, if you think about that, in theory, I should have 100,000 in 10 minutes. Um, but obviously, I can add upgrades to this. So, possibly, I might just pinch a couple of them. Not too many. 10, I think, would be nice. And let's try and bump this up a bit. It is going to go quite quick, but I've got hell of a lot of wither skulls. Now, from what I remember when I last did this, this does just kind of store power inside it. So, yeah. Cool. Right. Anyway, I'll leave that going for now. And hopefully it will accumulate a lot of points for me. And let's just have a quick look here. Oh, we got quite a lot of stuff in here, haven't we? <laughs> it's uh, it's becoming a bit of a mess now. This is the stage I didn't really want to get to. But, um, whoops. Let's just have a quick look at the pigs. They're still doing okay. Not too bad. Um... Right, we better actually start getting uh, 
the actual lo uh, loot fabricator on the go because we better start getting some more wither skulls. Obviously, we're going to run out eventually. And this needs to be turned back on. Phew. So I've gone ahead. I've made another sound muffler. Ah, finally. Right, so that should be making quite a few wither skulls here. And obviously, I don't want to lose this dragon. I'll keep the machine in there for a minute. Um, this has obviously got loads of them in there, yes. And let's put the dragon back there for a minute. Take that out. Chuck that in there, cool. Alright, let's go and stock up the uh, little generators here. Make sure they're all stocked up. I've probably got an absolute ton of uh, wither skulls in here anyway, haven't I? Yeah, 94. So, quickly, I want to show you a bit of storage situation here. I've got quite a lot of gold here. And... Pretty much all my saplings are obviously in the uh, other, other, other 13 by 13 over there. So anyway, let's have a quick look here and what other things can we actually uh, achieve here. Uh, so I need to go and place a place water in another and then place a boat. So let's just craft a, a bit of a boat here. Um, so I grabbed some cobble. I don't know if I actually need this. Um, I'm just going to see what happens here. I don't know. Is that right? This is weird. This is probably some sort of weird joke. Because obviously placing water in a... I didn't even... I didn't even place it and I got it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> that was... Wait, there we go. He's back. I'll just leave that there for memories. Right, well, that's that little uh, quest done. That was super easy. Well, advancement. So that's that one. We need to make a floaty McFloaty. So start an island in your void, in the void, by placing a floaty McFloaty block in the air. Now, I don't really know if this is even possible, but I've got the recipe there. And let's just craft one. I've already got, I've already got it, so... Does this block mean that you can just place it without it being next to anything, does it? Yeah, look, that is... That's quite a strange thing. You can just place it above me. <laughs> that's pretty handy, man. That is pretty cool. Anyway, that's that done. Um, I need to do this. Craft a... Vi vi vines craft a ship to fly around. I don't know. Let's have a look. Airship. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Right. We got quite a lot of things to craft here. First of all, we need some leads. So we need four leads. I don't know how I'm supposed to fly in my little cubes anyway. And lastly, we need... Uh, no, we got the middle bit as well. Oh, this one might be a bit difficult. We'll leave that for a minute. And this. Okay, we, I thought we might be missing the magma, but that's not really too hard to get. Uh, I need to chuck all this back. There we go. We've got an airship core. Right, last then. We need to craft this airship frame. So we need a minecart. Easy. And a logic chip. Oh, one, two, three, four. Perfect. That isn't too bad, is it? And there we go. That should be all of it. So let's make this airship. Hold shift and right click to throw this item and unleash the airship within. Hold shift for more info. All right. Oh my God. That is awesome. <laughs> Wow. How do I get in it though? Oh, he's in it. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's happened again. I just clicked. I saved myself, I think. Oh, you got to be so careful. Oh my God. Where am I? <gasps> where am I? No. 
Look at the sky. <laughs> no, my compact skies. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. I'm stuck again, right? Well, good job. I've got my trusty little game mode. <laughs> Oops. Game mode three. God's sake. Oh, now I've lost all the, uh, what do you call it? The actual things. Oh dear, what on earth has happened? Oh, I put myself in adventure mode. And it's kind of just brought me back here. Okay, back to zero then. Phew! Oh my god. <laughs> Be careful if you're playing with this flying thing, this aircraft, as well as these cakes. I mean, it's all probably because I need to update. Christ, you're lethal, you are. Can I break you? Or are you stuck there now? <laughs> oh, man, I want to have a fly around on that thing. Oh, it's stuck in the wall, isn't it? Right, you're going to have to just stay there. Memories. <laughs> so that's that done. And we obviously just need these two. So I need to go to the nether and mine... I'll die or, or use the industrial. Okay. Well, let's go in here and st oops, strip all this apart, shall we? And get this on the go. And then we can try and get a prestige point for this. And hopefully by that time, we should have enough to get to this uh, forest or whatever we got to do. Oh, God, here we go. So I'm just looking here on the lasers. I don't know if I need to change the lens. Oh, I should really have a light blue lens. And an or a yellow one and a light blue. There we go. I've got a yellow lens and a blue laser lens. There we go. We've got some cobalt. I need that. But it's not supposed to be the yellow one that's giving me that, really. Um, whatever. So we just need the Ardite now. Hopefully I can get that. The Ardite is supposed to be from the yellow. More chance, I think. But I don't think it really works properly on here. It's kind of weird. I've put the white one in, obviously. And I've got all sorts of different ores. Right, here we go. Come on. Give me the Ardite. I only need the one. Oh, I don't want quartz. Come on! So close. Yes! <laughs> We've done it. I think that is it, right? Uh, is that not all of them? Oh, 21. It gives you wings. I haven't even got that pop up. Oh, God. What's that? Completed. It gives you wings. I haven't got that even come up. <gasps> Is that something to do with this weird spaceship thing? So I've had a look on Google. I cannot see anything about this. So I've got one little idea, and that is save and quit and hop onto the sky grid um, save I've got. Possibly it's something to do with it because I'm on a compact sky. I, I can't find anything on uh, advancements list, but if you know, let me know in the comment section if I don't find this out right now. So here we go. I'm on the sky grid and let's have a look. Oh, oh, Elytra. Travel deep into the end void to find the an end city floating ship to obtain the Elytra. Aha. So that is what I'm missing. And welcome to sky grid. <laughs> right, let's get back. Possibly I could just craft the Elytra or can I get it from the dragon matter? I don't know. We'll have a look. Okay, we're back, and I'll just quickly check that. It's still working, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look here. Here we go. Oh, no, there's no crafting for it. It's just non -ob You can't obtain it on... Oh, that sucks, man. So, the questing system I went for, I can't even finish. Oh, that sucks. It says it there, look. It's not come up now, look. Well, that's such a shame, isn't it? 
It doesn't say like prestige point zero. Oh man, that is quite annoying. Oh well, we've kind of completed that if you kind of get my gist. So we've done that one, we've done that one, the farming one. Uh, we need to do this now and I wanted to try and get this obviously to get this um, forest because I feel like that is how we are going to be able to do this trial keystone to get these glitch armor because I feel like that is probably the biggest area and so from looking at this we've got what three points so we're gonna have to wait around for another seven minutes to get the fourth point and then we're gonna reset and get this going I think uh, how much is the next soils two three four five six seven and eight I would like to get these because that would be fantastic for my trees, man. Um, seven minutes. Oh, what do I do for seven minutes? Oh, I'm going to make a cup of tea. <laughs> ah, so I got my... Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. <laughs> I've got myself a lovely cappuccino. Look at me. I'm so fancy, right? Lovely stuff. Right. So we got four. Perfect. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's have a quick look. P, four points. And sky light forest is unlocked. Unlock stage twilight forest. So is there a cake for that? There it is. Oh, that's severely easy to craft. Um, I'm going to activate this again. Because I thought, why the hell not, right? So that's, yeah, we're back to how it was. And somebody did mention to me, they are absolutely correct here. I had all this stuff in my inventory. It's duplicated it, hasn't it? That's quite OP. Somebody did say about that, and I've, look... I've got all the white lenses, but I've got the yellow ones as well. So if you want to duplicate any item, you can with that power box. That is seriously OP. Wow. Anyway, we're going to leave that running for a minute anyway, as I kind of don't really know what to expect in this. If this cake's going to be good or not. Um, so I probably need to craft myself a cake first of all. That being, I need a bit of milk, so three of them. So that means I've got a spare diamond bucket. All of these lenses, look. Oh, man, that's not good. I feel a bit like a cheater now. Oh, well. Whatever. It's kind of an accident. It's not too crazy OP stuff I've kind of got, is it? Anyway, we got one cake done. We could chuck that back in there now. Right, let's do this. Let's make this cake. And so what I'm thinking about this, guys, is I'm going to grow a zombie, for example, and we're going to try and activate this. Um, I don't know if a zombie's a good one to go for, but I don't know. Um, right, well, let's go in here then. And I please to God, please, 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 do not make me go through the blocks, please. I'm scared. I really am. No, it looks like it's okay. Looks like it's all right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Perfect. It is nineteen by nineteen. So that being, I well, I will be able to actually activate this thing in here. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're getting a baby zombie with pants on. <laughs> my sword there. Here we go, he's mature. Right, let's kill this little fella. Is that gone in my key? What? How do you attune it then? Did, I, did that not work? Oh, it says something is blocking it. Is that that piece of grass? So 
Something is blocking the trial area. Make sure there are, make sure a 15 by 15 by 10 area is clear. And the layer beneath the trial stone key is made up of full blocks. Ah! It's not in the center though, is it? Hey! Oh, finally, I got there in the end. Wow, that took me a very long time to figure out. So, you can actually put this in here, which is pretty cool. I thought you could, um, that because it's a 19 by 19 area. These walls do not count, so if you want to do this, guys, obviously do this on this uh, cake, basically, on the compact sky anyway. Um, it is possible. Somebody, Some people have said in the comment section, it's not possible. Obviously, it will be. So now all I need to do is hook up some mobs with the keys. But obviously I am totally not really prepared for this. So that is going to be episode 15. We're going to do a bit of slaying of mobs. And I'm just torching this area up because I don't like it. It's quite dark. Okay. Oh, I got one more. Just chuck it anyway. Cool. So I'm going to end it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm pretty proud of that. Got that done. And we obviously got the prestige points to get here. And obviously we made some progress here and a bit of a shame that I cannot get some Elytra wings to finish this off, but hey ho, whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Darren Ross Probs. Bye!